one of the key things about this shift into clinical commissioning, it will give doctors and nurses who are much more closer to patients the ability to influence the planning within the health services. We're going to get much more sensitive commissioning decisions made which will help the population. The GPs are the only constant through the NHS. Many of our governing body have been in the, in the area for 10, 15, 20, 25 years. So they know local people and they're responsive to the needs of local people. Clinical commissioning is a good thing for patients because it, what it allows us to do very clearly is to engage patients and involve patients in the planning. Mental health lead in every surgery would be a major uh, step forward. GPs taught or trained to actually listen to patients. I think we need a better system of dealing with concerns and complaints. It's got, got to be a name that's got to be easily recognised by the public. People aren't poorly 9 to 5. There should be more evening provision. Make sure that sunbeds aren't used by under 18 year olds. Well the healthcare service I want to see improved is mental health. Try and treat the causes of people's ill health rather than the uh, symptoms. To spend more time with people with a learning disability and find out what they think and what they want. Alcohol uh, and the related illnesses such as mental health. For decisions to be based um, not about funding and money but more about what we've all been talking about today. About getting information out to patients and letting patients know what, what services that are available. Houghton in general is really, you know, high cancer rates, so I think cancer is the key and just there's so many issues around cancer. To make sure that all the people who have a involvement in health and social care actually are brought together and work in a collaborative way and that they make sure that they listen to what people are saying in the community. The vision and values of Holton CCG relate to improving the health of the population of Holton. But that must include making sure the people of Holton are involved in how we meet their health needs. Our key priorities relate to cancer, children's care, um, alcohol, all those things that local people tell us about. The CCG is a members forum. So the only way that's going to work and work properly is that we engage with as many of those uh, individuals and practices and clinicians as possible. Educational days, uh, members days, making sure that their ideas correlate into the commission intentions. GPs in the area are closely involved with, with the CCG, both through the, the engagement events that we've held already to gauge their opinion, but we're clinicians that work in practices with other GPs who aren't on the board and we garner their opinions every day. They, um, so definitely the local clinicians are involved in the CCG and are keen to see it work. The group has organised two public or people's forums which have garnered ideas from the people that the CCG serves and is accountable to and um, will form the basis of future clinical commission decisions. I think it's quite good, I think it's really good how, how lots of people are talking and you've got lots of people around the table, I think that's really good. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed the energy of today. It's really all about people connecting together to create, hopefully, a better future for Halton. I think today's event um, is a good event, especially for people with learning disabilities. It's good getting out there. I thoroughly enjoyed today and it's been a, a worthwhile event. I hope you carry on. Good luck. <laughs> now, I've been coming to similar forums at a similar level for the past... I don't know, 20, 30 years. And you get the facilitators, same people, same heads, discussing the same or similar issues. All the same things are discussed. All the same areas are, are, are brought up and the same concerns raised. And the question I've got is, is, is why is that the case? GPs have been involved in the, in the commission process before and there have been many different uh, opportunities, many different ways of changing the health planning service over the years. I've lived through at least seven of them that have struggled to get both patients in the population and primary care clinicians involved because they seem to be the key people that you really need to uh, inform decision making. Uh, I think this is a real stepwise change to that and, and gives us a real opportunity to make change. This is a different um, organisation, a different breed 
of people that we've previously been involved with. So I'm really excited by the opportunities that uh, we have in dealing with frontline practitioners at this level. I don't think this type of leadership was shown before. Um, certainly not, not, not in this particular way. We, we, we had very good relationships with the local authority, we had very good relationships with the NHS, but I wouldn't say there was a sort of a three-party approach where you've got commissioners and service deliverers all around the table at the same time talking about solving the same problems. So this is quite refreshing. We've got some innovative um, approaches around developing wellbeing practices, so changing the way GP um, practices deliver healthcare to the local population and ensuring they're much more integrated with the local voluntary sector and other services. I think the, uh, the idea of having a community wellbeing practice and having the, the methodology around ensuring that uh, during a GP consultation the GP looks um, at the person as a whole and is able to direct people off to community activities to maintain their health um, is really exciting. We're the first in the country to have community wellbeing practices. That alone is evidence that CCG is thinking differently. I am most excited about the plans that we've got for mental health and uh, for alcohol services. Um, I have a particular interest in both of those services. But however, it's not just those services in isolation. Everything that we do is important and is going to be more important as time progresses. The elements of the plans I'm most excited about are the engagement of local, the local population in, their, in identifying their needs and meeting them, and also keeping them engaged. Um, and the idea of moving services much more closely to where the population is, so closer to their own homes, so they don't have to travel to hospitals or to big, in, big institutions to receive their care. I'm most excited about the possibility of doing some big cultural change in the population of Halton. What we really want to do is for people to live longer but be healthier in that. We really need our community to want to work with us on that. We really need all of us to be on board to put our energy into that. I think is a really fantastic end point and I think with a lot of hard work that we would be uh, able to get somewhere along that line.